Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? I've loaded up the pecan mixer, I put five bales of each, I got two round bales of silage left, we got a few hay, loads of straw now, because I brought all of that in as well. Uh, what have we got here actually? We got six, ten, fourteen bales. That's enough for a few loads. Actually, that's prob that'll probably see us through actually, so I don't think we'll need to make hay again. Um, and to be honest, I think most of this mixed ration here will see us through. We're at 93.8% in this thing. It is huge. 60,000 litres going in now. The cattle were running at 100%, um, but I realised that we don't actually have any straw in for these. So once we've tipped this out, I'll then dump a few bales of straw in here and we'll spread that in because you can use just the ordinary mixer rather than having to use round bale straw in the other type of mixer. So everything will be tickety-boo. Uh, my question for this week is, and I will just go into that screen right now, here we go. Do you want me to use, when I do silage next week, uh, the Class Jaguar 980 with the Orbis header on the front, or the Crone Big X 1100 Beast with uh, that header there, and we may even do some whole crop with that one as well, um, the other one will have to use a crone uh, header on the front, but also uh, we will use the crone Big X cargo to go on the back of the beast, and this uh, it just fills up directly, and then you run a trailer along underneath, and it loads from there. Um, so yeah, do you want me to use the crone uh, setup, the, the the whole collection, or do you want me to use the class Jaguar uh, forager? It's your vote. It's your game. Head down below into the comments section and let me know which one you'd like me to use. Now, if I can get up into the rafters a bit, we might be able to see that one work. There we go. We can just see it. I do apologise that it's not the best and clearest of views, but you can't really get to it with this because it's such a big trailer. Um, and it won't let you sort of access it very well while you're in the shed. So, there we go. Look at that thing. That thing is monstrous. It really is. So, we've got over 100,000 litres. As a hundred tons of mixed feed in for our cows. That should be enough to see them through. I'll probably see most of the rest of the series. Um, we'll probably have to do a little bit more. So we're going to go and get some straw. I have got on the Warrior, I've got the, um, the direct drill that is ready to go. So let me just come through here. And I remember we have an electric fence here that we can drive over. I set it up carefully so you can drive over it. And there we go drive through and if I bring this one over here we can start putting a few bales of straw in I'll put five bales of straw in which will be uh, 20,000 litres of straw actually you know what I'm gonna put 10 in we'll go for 40,000 litres uh, I'll do that a second and then I will get back to you all right that's the last three bales just to go in and we can go and chuck these in for the cows uh, I was watching just now uh, earlier on a video that has just been put up onto Farming Simulator website, so you can probably work out what day this is if you've been following that. Uh, not on their website, on their Facebook page, uh, detailing some of the Animal Carers, the second uh, gameplay trailer that they've released. And you had oh, there was some there was some wonderful stuff that they had showing off in that. Uh, what do we have? We had uh, well, you go and get the pigs. You got two different trailers. You had a huge, great big trailer for carrying pigs. Um, that went on the back of the lorry, and then you had a small Joskins livestock trailer, I think it was. Uh, that one went um, on the back of a tractor. It would only carry a few pigs, but it was still pretty good. Then you had, uh, oh, what was it? Um, well, the, the bit that really interested me was the straw spreader. They no longer got just that little round bale straw spreader. They've now got one that can take square bales, which is fantastic. That is what I have been waiting for. So now we can do square bales, right that, put a load of straw in for there, oh it's filling up the pens on either side now, excellent, hopefully it'll fill it right up, I don't want to leave this thing full of straw, I might be able to tip it from here into the straw sale point but I'm not quite sure, I accidentally sold some bales of hay in there which I really didn't mean to, right, let's take this one out of here and then we can get started on our sowing and we'll follow it immediately up with a bit of fertiliser. Um, so yeah, you had this great big uh, machine for putting square bales in so you could shred them and spread straw in for your animals. Um, the pig, uh, looking after the pigs, the pig livestock section, 
that looked really cool it looked really detailed um quite a few different machines that we've seen for carrying the pigs around what else we you got the livestock you got a livestock dealer uh right, i'm gonna back the peak on in here and we'll store that one in that shed that's going to be sort of feed and stuff and i'll do it like this so that i can actually see the back of the trailer so feed and feed related items can all go in here although I'll probably be able to use it for some other whoa okay so i just smashed the back of my machine there which i really didn't need mean to do um I'll switch that one off and we'll leave that one right there because i'm using the warrior for the seed drill we're going to take that one out and hopefully plant sunflowers in the field out there and what i will do though is i will save the game before we start planting sunflowers because i've seen um dagoin have a really bad crash on his and i don't really want to do that so I've got the seed drill, that is loaded up. It should work okay because um, we've got the the multi-fruit mod and stuff like that. So there's our seed drill all ready to go. What else did I see on that video? Not really sure. I, I know that, that, ba that the bale handler was um, particularly cool. Oh, the trailers. Yes, the trailers where you uh, strap on all the different sorts of... Um, strap the different sorts of bales on. You put the straps on by hand, which is such an awesome little touch. It is brilliant. You attach the straps by hand to the different parts of the bales so it secures them to the trailer. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, what, was there anything else I can remember? I can't think of anything offhand. I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was plenty of other bits. Right, this field we are going to plant sunflowers in it. And if you hang on a second, I will go and save the game. And then, so if we do have a bad crash, I can come back to this point. Right. Let's see. Uh, we want to go this way around the field, I think. I'll do it this way. I'll go right round the outside to start with. So we've got wheat, barley, oilseed rape, grass. That's oats. That's clover. Uh, lucerne, is it? Alfalfa? Something like that. I'm not sure. Oats again. That is rye. I believe that rye, you've got to have a specially modded um seed drill to be able to plant it i don't think it works with the standard game stuff clover clover wheat <gasps> oh no where's the sunflowers i thought that you could do sunflowers with this that's is that sunflowers maybe that is i thought that was that that's rye isn't it oh don't tell me we can't do the sunflowers unless we gotta have we gotta plant something else to do the sunflowers uh I know you've got to get a potato planter. Right. Wait one minute. I'm going to get back to you. I've got to just check some stuff. Okay. I've done a bit of research. And some of you have probably been screaming at the screen for some time. Saying, Frithgar, you idiot. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Uh, you don't plant sunflowers with a cedar. That is rye. Um, it looks like we can plant rye. I don't know if it actually grows properly. I didn't test it all. But yeah, you, you don't plant sunflowers with this one. You um, you need to use the other one. Uh, so, I did mention before that I've never actually done sunflowers in the game. Or done them in real life. So, I did have absolutely no clue as to what I was doing. So, I am going to use that as my defence, if that's okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway, moving swiftly on. I will unhitch this one, and then we've got to get over to the biogas plant so that we can get our other cedar. But before we can use that other cedar, we are going to need... Little bit sharp there. We're going to need to cultivate. So I need to see if I've got a cultivator. And do you know, I'm not actually sure if I've got one or not. So let me just... Uh, I think I've got to lower it before I can unhitch it. Yeah, lower. Drop that one down. There we go. Right, now, skip out again. And come around. And unhitch. There we go. Right, that's perfect. Uh, cultivator. Let's just see in our garage. We use... I carry a tablet around with me. Um, with the, the tractors. You can plug the tablet into all the tractors. You can get updates on all sorts of information. And that is actually something you can do. Oh, yeah, we've got the horse. Right, we will go and use that one. Where did I put it? Or where is it put it? It's right there, right in front of me, right under my nose. 
Okay, um, we... You know what? Let's just use it on this one. Because it's going to need a fairly substantial beast to pull it, I should think. So we'll use it on this one, and then we can go and get the other one with the green doits. And we use that one for doing our sowing of sunflowers. So let me just hitch that one on there. There we go. Perfect. And let's go. So, um, the, the, the whole iPad thing is actually fairly accurate. You can have it that you can plug an iPad or something similar, a tablet, into your different tractors. You can upload and download information and so on, or you can use GPS tracking. It's, there's various different ways of doing it. But I have heard that farmers can do it with an iPad. Um, so that is not outside the realms of possibility. Am I dragging this thing along the ground, or is it actually running? Yeah, it's running just fine. I just had this horrible thought that I was making yet another really, really foolish mistake. This tractor's starting to get rather dirty. So anyway, yes, I apologise for wasting time with the other um, cedar. Uh, I had absolutely no idea, never having done anything to do with sunflowers ever in my entire life. Although I really, really want to. Um, I would like to see them done in real life as well as in this game. Right, so that one unfolds like that. I'll come up around the edge here. And this looks actually very similar to an American chisel plow, which is what they would use for doing all of their plowing anyway. Um, I've got a slightly larger one than this on my... Hang on, let's lower it down. We'll start, start moving. I've got a slightly larger one than this on... Uh, not hard, hard working on the time-lapse map. And that one has actually been adjusted to make a, a plow. It's, I mean, it, it looks... It, the, the shears and that, they're slightly different. They look more like a conventional European plow. Um, but I'm using it like a chisel plow in that game because I've been asked to use chisel plows because I've not done it yet so I thought I'd do that and it's actually worked really well it's, it's quite an awesome plow to be honest I, I was quite pleased with the results on that one this isn't the widest of cultivators but it does the job quite nicely I like the texture on the earth as well right we're going to do a couple rounds around the outside with this thing um, I have also found out that the even though we've got telegraph poles going across the map they don't actually have any collision, so I could just leave it going um, and not worry about the telegraph poles, but that wouldn't be all that realistic, so I think I won't do that. I will... Um, I'll do a few rounds around the outside, and I'll do a line up across the telegraph poles, and we'll sort of use the hired help to cultivate this side. Then we can... I'll do the other bit down the bottom by hand or something. I'm not quite sure how I'll do that yet. I'll figure something out. I usually do. Uh, yeah, so I don't think we're actually going to be able to start planting our sunflowers today because we've got to cultivate all the field first. That has slowed things down a little bit. Which is a bit of a shame. I was really looking forward to doing that. Yeah, what I'll do is I will cultivate the bottom bit um, in my own time. And I'll, run a, I'll do a round like this. And I'll come up across here, and I'll do all of this sort of the tricky bit um, off camera. I will come a bit closer, and we'll see how much of that actually cultivates and how much doesn't. Ah, I see. So there's a little bit around each pole that won't cultivate. That's actually going to work out quite nicely. I'll come up through there for that one as well. Is anyone else quite looking forward? There's one little aspect of um, Farming Simulator 17 that I thought was actually pretty cool. You can plant, um, it's a type of oilseed rape plant. Um, it's like, also like a, it's a stubble plant. You, I think you plant it in the field. I, I don't know if you've got a, if you can just uh, sprinkle sow it with a, a fertilizer spreader or if you've actually got to plant it after a harvest and then wait for it to start. But once it's planted, you then go over and you cultivate or plow uh, as once it comes through and it adds a, a layer of fertilizer in for the next crop which is actually a really nice little touch it's, it's one of those extra little details that they've added that we've kind of not I'm, i've not really heard of anyone saying that they'd really like to see something like that but again i've also seen people saying that um you know stuff with like the chop straw on the top it would be really cool if that could add a bit of fertilizer value so it's kind of like that so it is adding some fertilizer value, but it's a crop that you've got to sow in order to get that fertilizer value. And I'm assuming that that is instead of um, doing your normal fertilizer spreading on that field, which is actually really, I'm really looking forward to testing that one out. That is going to be really cool. 
Right, I'm going to finish a couple more rounds on this field so that we can at least go and get our other cult, our cedar so that it is ready to roll before next episode and it will be next episode that we start actually planting our sunflowers. I've done around the edges, I've done some on the headlands, you know the sort of drill. And he is now going to carry on and drill this field for me, cultivate the field. So I'm providing gainful employment for people of the local village. What we're going to do is we're going to dash off over here and we're going to get the other doits and we're going to head over to the biogas plant. Now I'm going to actually show you the drive over because we haven't driven over there yet. It's not actually that far away. Uh, we've got to go straight out and past Littleham stores as well. And I don't think I even drove... I think I... I don't remember if I drove past it or not when I did a little tour of the map. Uh, I genuinely don't remember. So, we, yeah, we go out of the front entrance and then straight ahead rather than turning left or right. And then follow that road. And we'll pick up the Deutz tractor and get the correct cedar this time. So that we can go and get some... Where did I put that tractor? So that we can go and get some... Um, oh, I put it down here, didn't I? I just walked right past it. I tell you what, <laughs> if if my my head wasn't screwed on, uh, I'd leave that behind as well. I am absolutely useless some days. Oh, I genuinely am. I am absolutely useless. I apologise if this really really frustrates you. Um, believe me, it frustrates my wife as well, Sen. Uh, some of you know Sen from. Uh, back many, many, well, I was going to say years ago, but you know, it was last year. When I started out my YouTubing career, I started on Minecraft. And um, Sen joined me quite a bit on Minecraft. So, so quite a few of you will remember Sen from Minecraft. Um, she often complains about my inability to find things. Uh, they'll be right there in front of me, literally right in front of me, and I still won't see them. So I'm no different in game than I am in real life. Uh, there's probably one or two people here who know someone just like me and are regularly frustrated by someone just like me. Um, so there you go. Right, so we go past the campsite. That's on our left in there. And, and we come bombing down this road. Yeah, there's the entrance to the campsite. And then we've got the field here. There's a grass field there, 25, that we don't own. This field here is... That's the one that we don't own. Yeah, because um, it's over the other side of field 24 that they're doing the work. So these two here, these longer fields, we don't own either of these. Let's get it shifty on. And we've got Littleham Stores just here. I don't know what this is. And that's where you go and buy that field. You can go in through those double gates. This, I'm guessing it's just a grain sell point. I don't know if there's anything else here. Uh... It looks like it's just a sell point for grain. You've got some grain silos over there, that sort of thing. And there's a sell point you can see on the map. Then we've got the corn, the maize, that is in the field just to our left here. That's the one that we're going to be silaging first. And then we'll probably go and whole crop the field, I think it's barley, that I've got opposite side of the road over back over at the yard. And very soon we're going to buy pigs and beef, but I didn't want to actually get the pigs and beef until I'm ready to start putting food and stuff in for them. Um, which is why I haven't bought them yet. I know that um, we did all agree that we're going to get pigs and beef. Right, let's come in here. And you can sell manure and slurry at these points here. I believe you just back them into the pits, although I haven't actually tried that yet, so I'm not sure. But it could also be horribly wrong. And here is the cedar we want. We've got another trailer in there, and we have the loader with the bucket in there as well. Um, we'll keep that one down here for now. I don't think we're going to need it anywhere else. Right, back up here. We are almost out of time, so we will drive back to the yard. We've done a bit of cultivating. Uh, we have fed the animals, and we've given them straw. So it has been a complete loss today. Right, let's load that one up. Now look, there's the corn. There's the sugar beet. Sunflowers! That's what we wanted. Right there, sunflowers. See? Sunflowers, yeah. I don't know, I don't like that they turn the beacon off every time you get out the tractor. I'd like to keep it running sometimes. Okay. Uh, right, there's a road that goes down there, but I don't see that clearly marked on my map. 
I guess that just cuts through to the forest bit, does it? Let's go that way and we'll see what's out there. So I want to head down this way first. Come around the corner. And then I want to immediately go this way. I'm going to do this bit out of cab so we can have a bit of a, a look around. Oh, this is coming down to the dual carriageway. I don't want to go down here onto the dual carriageway, do I? No. Uh, is there any way to get off of the dual carriageway? I'm going to turn round. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be going down onto there. For those of you in the States who aren't familiar with the term dual carriageway, it's actually... It's kind of like a freeway, I guess. Our motorways have generally got three lanes. I think there are a few of them in the country that have got four lanes in each direction. Um, our dual carriageways are two lanes in each direction. And slightly different rules that govern how you can drive on them as well. Um, and you can take tractors on them. You're not allowed to take tractors onto the motorways. I don't know how it works in the States with your freeways and um, hi highways and so on, stuff like that. I'm assuming it's kind of similar. I, I would assume that your your freeway is the one where you're not allowed to have agricultural machinery driving on it, that sort of thing. Whereas your highway, which is a different sort of road, uh, you would be allowed to. I, I, I don't know, though. It's, it's just me guessing. If um, someone wants to point out any inaccuracies in my guesses, please feel free. And I think that is actually about all we got time for. So I'll finish the cultivating in that field before next episode and then we can get started he's doing quite well actually he's whizzing up through i was hoping that he wouldn't get stuck i tried to get the angles right so the game hired help would actually do it do okay with it and he seems to be just fine so he'll carry on with that we will do actual sunflower planting next time i mean for real sunflower planting with an actual drill that can do some sunflowers uh my question for this week is let's go into here which of these foragers would you like me to use to do the forage harvesting with? Do you want me to use the Class Jaguar 980, which is actually a really cool mod. I really do like it. Uh, but it was only after I got that one installed that I found the beast. And I've got to be honest, I will be surprised if you go for the Jaguar over the beast, because this thing's incredible. This is just incredible. Um, because uh, the mod itself is really good, but it's the fact that it comes with this one. The Crone Big X Cargo, and oh, that thing looks fantastic. You just leave the, the forager going in the field, and then you can go back and forth with the trailers like you are on a combine. You guys might not like it. You might not think that that is suitable for a map of this size. Uh, you might think that that is only really suitable for a much larger scale operation. Um, I don't know. It's your vote. It's your game. Do you want me to use the, the, um, the Crone Beast Pack, or do you want me to use the Class Jaguar? It, uh, head down below into the comment section and let me know what you think. And, right, let's just come up in here, make sure there's no traffic. I don't know if the traffic actually comes up onto this bit or not. In round there. Right, I'll leave these gates open. I really should shut them, I suppose, because if the animals get out, uh, they could get out onto the road. And, of course, then there is also security. Although, this is a coastal farm in Devon. It's, um... Yeah, we, we don't tend to worry too much about security around here. We, we, everybody knows everybody. And if someone sees this tractor driving down the road, everybody's going to know who it belongs to. And if they don't recognise the driver, I'll get a phone call pretty quick. Don't you worry about that. Right, uh, what should we do? I'll park this one up here because we won't actually start sowing tonight. We will start sowing tomorrow morning. Um, I'll finish the cultivating tonight. And then tomorrow morning we can carry on with the rest of it. So if you've enjoyed this episode please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.